I get a little bit breathless My thoughts are too big Can I get some comfort please? I guess I should have been honest A break to my heart It's weighing me down baby Hey y'all, welcome to 13 Moons Homestead My name is Lynette I've been thinking now for several months about um, starting a video challenge because I've been kind of pondering um, about how none of us really gets to where we are. None of us can really truly succeed entirely on our own. We all need help. We all need inspiration. We all need somebody to cheer, cheer us on, um, give us those little boosts in life, whether it's um, encouragement to help ourselves or whether it's assistance in something uh, no matter what area of your life you're you're thinking of there's there's always someone else involved it's never just you know one person alone and I've been thinking for some time now about starting a, a video challenge um, to really encourage people to talk about the people that they appreciate, the, the people that they recognize, you know, have been helpers, have been selfless, have been encouraging, have been loving, um, anything, any, any quality that you can think of that you really appreciate uh, from someone who has helped you personally. So, um, or, you know, it's been personal to you, not that they necessarily were trying to individually help you, but something that you you took away from from someone that, that really helped you get to where you are, to, um, to a goal that you were chasing, anything like that. Um, and a little while back, um, before I had a chance to implement this um, idea, uh, you recall if you've been following me I did an appreciation video highlighting Green Dream Project because they're amazing um, it was started by another channel and so I decided well what what the heck I was you know already planning something like this anyway and so I started with that one but I really feel like this is something that needs to be ongoing and something that happens regularly I really do feel like it's super important to recognize um, people in your life who are doing great things because a lot of the time the people who are the most selfless they don't stand up and toot their own horn they don't ask for recognition you know and sometimes they they get lost in the shuffle and I really think we should be telling people when we appreciate the things that they're that they're doing and how we feel about them so this is um, the official start of the challenge that I'm starting, just called Appreciation Collaboration. Um, if you want to make a video also uh, to talk about people who you are appreciating, I highly recommend it. And since, you know, new, new people come in and out of our lives all the time, I recommend that you make more than one. Anytime that you happen to recognize that someone has been a huge um, help or encouragement or anything to you make another video I, I think you know it's not something that just is uh, one and done there's lots of people that we appreciate in particular I'm doing this for YouTube but you know you can you can shout out appreciation for anyone in your life they don't have to be another youtuber so in my case today there are two YouTube channels that I would like to shout out and talk about why I really appreciate um, what they're doing, who they are, um, and what it has meant to me and my channel. The first channel that I wanted to shout out today is PG Nano Farm. Uh, Linda over at PG Nano Farm has been an amazing friend. Um, I met her through a YouTube Homesteaders group and I may never have met her otherwise um, and since we met through the group online we have actually been able to meet in person because we discovered we actually only live a few hours apart um, 
and there are times for each of us that we have to travel to the region where the other is. So uh, it's been really amazing um, getting to know her online and then also meeting her in person. She is one of the most selfless people I think I have ever met on the face of the earth. She spends a ton of time voluntarily, no one has ever asked her to do this, um, just helping other YouTube channels. Um, if you're not a content creator or an influencer, then you may not know that to get going on YouTube, it, you know, it's a free platform, anybody can do it. And if you're just making videos because you want to you know, document what's going on, or you're doing something fun for your friends or your family, that's fantastic. Um, but some people are trying to get their channel to a point where it can be monetized and it can provide a little bit of um, extra income on the side. And um, it hasn't been very long since YouTube changed the requirements for monetization to certain levels that were higher than they used to be. So now it's required that you have a thousand subscriptions, subscribers, and 4,000 watch hours. And it takes um, quite a lot of effort to get to that, um, you know, naturally just on your own with, you know, free advertising that you can do yourself. Just in other, you know, like in Facebook groups and to your, to your own friends and family. And it can take quite a long time. And people don't realize how much time investment it is uh, to make these videos and edit them and what a learning curve it can be for some people. And so she has continually, you know, made it a priority in her life to research what's the YouTube algorithm doing right now? How can we get ourselves, you know, these smaller channels, particularly in the homesteading community, um, but not always. Uh, how can we um, best, you know, market ourselves and promote ourselves so that we can get to those goals um, a little, a little faster, uh, to make it a little more worthwhile to be doing this on a regular basis. Um, you know, she started a group even just so of other like-minded people, so we can all help each other. We're learning, you know, how to make our thumbnails better, how to do our titles better. You know, what do we need to do to help each other out? We have watchathons to build up our um, our watch time and other other things like that. All kinds of things. Nobody asked her to do this. She does it of, of her own free will and out of the goodness of her heart. And she fits that in amongst, you know, her everyday life. All the things she normally has to take care of. Her family and everything that's going on with it. Good times, bad times. And she's running her own YouTube channel too. It's astounding to me how much that she can get accomplished. And how much she does for other people. And doesn't ever ask her anything in return. I wanted to give that shout out. In particular to Linda for being an amazing person and for becoming an amazing friend uh, somebody that I, I really connect with a lot I just want her to know that she is very much appreciated and very much loved the second channel I want to highlight is wholesome roots um, with Rose and her family um, if it wasn't for Rose I would not be doing this <laughs> Uh, to the, you know, doing YouTube, making this channel. Um, it was really one of her videos that encouraged me uh, way back in, I think it was October, to make a video. And I gotta tell you, I, I was kind of scared out of my mind to do something like this, to make a video and publish it for the public to see. My first couple of videos were pretty pathetic. <laughs> Um, I didn't know how to make a video. I, I held my phone the wrong way. I didn't have a microphone. Nobody could hear me. I had never seen the inside of a piece of editing software. I didn't know how it worked. I didn't understand the whole idea of um, putting videos together and uploading them to YouTube and then later trying to improve the editing and add music and all of these things. And I, I wouldn't have been 
encouraged to keep doing it if it wasn't for Rose. She, um, she has her channel. She shares so much wisdom on her channel about gardening and about um, livestock care, in particular for goats. And she shares her family and her daily struggles. And you know, the, it's it's so very real. And I really appreciate that. She shares the reality of what it is to be a homesteader and shows not only when there are successes, but also when there are failures and how she feels about it and how she and her family deal with those things. Because, you know, for anybody like me who has never had livestock before and only minimal gardening experience, the idea of jumping into this is a very romantic idea but it's hard work. Like we've been on our, our property almost a year and we've been renovating and fixing up and cleaning and we are still nowhere near a point where we can even bring animals in. We're almost at a garden point, but it's we're at 11 months in and people don't realize how much work it can take. And we haven't even started yet. <laughs> um, and that how much heartache there can be um, but also how much joy and I think it's really important if people watching our, our homesteading and gardening type channels are thinking about getting into this that they understand the big picture like it's it's not just all healthy food and beautiful gardens it doesn't always work that way so I really appreciate that she goes through her life the hardships and the joys and shares all of it with us um, and shares her family with us it's to, so you you know we can see how it can be and how sometimes it is or isn't um, to to be on a homestead and to uh, do these things to support your health and your family to either reduce cost or improve quality or any number of reasons that you you might be considering homesteading. She's just an amazing soul. She has a big heart and um, a tender heart, especially for animals, I think. And it's just it's such a beautiful thing to see. And she is always encouraging other people to follow their hearts. and. It's not always an easy thing to do. It's not even always a practical thing to do. But for me, it's the most important thing to do. And um, because of her, I've been encouraged to do a lot more things, things that I didn't think I could do, and including starting this channel. I may never become monetized. It's not necessarily a goal for me. I mean, it would be nice, but this is really more about documenting what we're doing because like even I can't remember sometimes the decision that I made months ago when here I am months later and the seasons have changed and maybe I have new information and it's like well wait is that what I wanted to do what did I want to do is that still what I want to do you know this channel has become important for documentation uh, for for my family and for me um, and also to kind of keep me motivated to keep pushing on and working on projects because it gives me a little bit of accountability and responsibility to say, hey, um, you know, other people are kind of waiting to hear and see what we're doing here. Uh, so maybe I should keep at it. Because um, there are those days when you really don't feel like it. <laughs> or even just times when you're very busy with other things and you don't feel like making a video or, or you just can't fit it in um, and it, it's you know it's one of those things that Rose teaches is sometimes you have to slow down and take care of yourself um, and then do what's necessary um, it, you really have to find a balance and I think she's very good about that but uh, I really want to shout out appreciation for Rose and tell her that you know her encouragement and the way that she leads her life and the fact that she shares it with us is a blessing to me and I know to many other people as well I'm just so glad um, to, to call her a friend and um, 
let her know that she is loved. So uh, if you have never heard of PG Nano Farm or Wholesome Roots, um, and even if you have, I highly encourage you to go check out their channels. I uh, will link them in the description below and possibly also in the iCards um, above. And then also consider making your own appreciation videos. Um, and if you do make one, please let me know in the comments below. And I don't know if you're allowed to put a link there, but if you can put a link and I will start a playlist for those. I just think there is so much negativity in the world right now that we really all need a little bit of a positive reinforcement that there are still good people out there doing amazing things. And um, I think they need to know that they're wonderful and they're amazing and they're helping people and they're making a difference in this world. All of us, I believe, can make a difference in the world. Some of us more than others. Some of us can, can really be activists and make big splashes. And some of us, well, we have a YouTube channel. So I think all of us can do a little something. And, you know, Linda and Rose, they do a lot. Um, and they do it just by being themselves. So um, I hope everybody will jump in and make their own videos. Oh, I'm sorry for the light change here. It's very sunny. Um, I would love to see more appreciation collaboration videos. So let me know if you make one, um, or if you find any that aren't linked below, and I'll put them on a playlist. Um, that's all for today. We'll see you on the next video. Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our light. Problems in the